I can't believe Jennifer threw such a big party and she didn't invite me. She invited all our friends except me. She doesn't rate me anymore it's obvious. I don't blame her because we are now injure as rich as we used to be. She now feels like I am not in her league anymore. Anyways, it's my husband I blame if he had done something about this situation I won't have become a laughing stock for my friends. A whole me milli of all people. It's okay I will surely bounce back. Jakes look how you have turned my life upside down. You have turned me into a laughing stock. My friends are now hanging out and partying without me. Honey bro that is not my fault. It's not my fault that I lost my job. You know things didn't used to be like this. And I know that I won't remain like this forever. Can you please stop talking about the past? You used to be rich as past tense. Now you are not. Do something about it. I am getting fed up of this situation. Honey bro you know that I am trying my best. Things are not just working out the way they should. Please bear with me. Things will get better soon I know it. When is soon? We have been like this for the past two years now and there has been no change. I am getting tired of this ooh. I was observing you from a distance and you really seem so unhappy. What is the problem? Everything is the problem right now. My life has completely turned upside down. I am in so many debts and my home is at the point of breaking. Jakes it's not your fault that life turned out to be unfair to you. You are a good and hard working man. I know that you are trying but things are just not going as they should. But I don't want you to lose hope. The worst part now is my wife. She is making matters worse for me. She disrespects me at every given opportunity. She is irritated by my presence. I don't even know how to face her when I get home that is why I am here trying to waste time. And my landlord is on my neck on the other hand. Threatening to evict me out of the house if I don't pay up my rent in two days. I am just tired of everything. Jake says for your rent, I will give you some money so that you can pay. You need to secure a roof over your head at least. I will send the money to your account right away. Maria you don't need to do that. You need the money for your business. Besides I am not supposed to be taking money from you. It is not right. Jake but I am not complaining. No matter how much I give you, I cannot repay you for what you did for me four years ago. You helped me set up this place. You supported me with a large sum of money. Your support is one of the reason why I was able to establish this restaurant. I owe my success story to God through you. So if I offer to help pay your rent now that you are not financially stable please let me repay the kindness. I really do not know how to thank you. But God will bless you. Thank you so much. It's nothing. One good turn deserves another. Please eat up. Honey I can't find the money I left in the drawer. Have you seen it? Yes I did, and I used it. What? You are joking right? No I'm not. Take a look at your wife. Don't I look pretty? I used the money to buy new clothes and shoes. You know that it's been long I shopped for new clothes and my old ones were already becoming worn out. I needed a change of wardrobe so I used the money for shopping. Millie how could you? You should have asked questions first. That money was meant for the rent of this house. The landlord has been on my neck and you know it. Do you even know how I got that money? A friend gave me the money and I am even yet to pay back. Well that is not my problem. When was the last time you gave me money for shopping? Is it not your responsibility? I know it is my responsibility but you know I am still struggling with finance. Now that you have used the money how are we going to pay the rent? Well that's your problem. Fix it. This is not right at all. Whatever. Hi pretty lady. What are you doing here all by yourself? Hi, I am waiting for a cab. Come on dear, this sun is too much for a beautiful woman like you. Hop and let me give you a ride. Okay, that's for offering. My name is Phil and I am an importer. I import cars. What is your name? I am Millie, nice to meet you and thanks for the ride. It's no big deal beautiful. There is no way I would let a woman as beautiful as you are standing under the sun like that. Can I have your number? I can take you out for dinner tomorrow if you don't mind. Okay, I don't mind. Get ready by 6 p.m. tomorrow, I will pick you up. Okay. Millie where are you going dressed like this and at this time of the night? I am going out with friends. Do you have a problem with that? I am not against you going out with friends but it's almost too late. 
and your dressing. Please I am not ready for this nonsense this evening. Don't try to spoil my mood excuse me. You are a married woman and you should be accountable. You didn't even give me a prior information that you will be going out tonight. What if I had plans for us? Please excuse me, I have to go. Why is this woman treating me this way all of a sudden? She used to love and cherish me when I still had money. And I showered her with so much love and money. Why is she treating me badly now that I am broke? This place looks so fanciful and expensive. Of course the place is expensive but not too expensive for me, and also beautiful just as you look tonight. Thank you for the compliment. After seeing you yesterday I have completely come to like you and I want you in my life. I promise to make your life a paradise on earth. Order for whatever you want, for a start let's have champagne to celebrate this date and our meeting. Sure. I don't like the phone you are using. I brought you here so that you can pick any phone of your choice. Are you for real? Of course I am. Thank you so much, you are a darling. Anything for you my darling. I tried calling you all night long and you didn't pick up. Why didn't you come home last night? Please don't try to spoil my mood. I am too tired to answer those questions now. I need to rest. I am your husband and you owe me explanations to why you didn't come back last night. I don't think I owe you any explanations. A man who cannot take care of his responsibilities do not deserve any explanations. Whose phone are you holding? This is my new phone. Where did you get such an expensive phone from? I know that you do not have such money to buy a new phone talk more of such expensive phone. Since you want to know, I will tell you. A man like you got me this phone. A man who knows my worth. A man who knows how to treat his women. When was the last time you changed my phone? Millie are you cheating on me with another man? How dare you? Whatever. You are my wife and under my roof. How dare you talk about another man? I still pay your bills. Why are you shouting like a town crier? If you had done what you were supposed to do I won't have cheated. If you continue shouting I will just leave this place. Besides is this even a house? I am even fed up of you and you broke self. Millie how could you do this to me? After everything. Is it my fault that things turned bad? Why are you breaking me? You are welcome to my house. Feel free this is also your home now. Whatever you need ask the housekeeper. Don't stress yourself doing anything. Just relax and enjoy yourself. I must say you have a really beautiful home. Feel at home baby. I just sent you some money. I am going out for a business meeting. If you get bored go shopping. You are a sweetheart. Thank you so much. My wife has finally left me for another man. She left me for a richer and younger man. I feel so worthless right now. I never ever believed that she could do this to me after everything. I remember how I used to shower her with so much money and gifts when the going was good. Now that things are roughy for me she says not even Hesio to leave me. To be frank with you, I am really disappointed at her. I never knew she was going to take it this far. After all you both have been through, but it is well. There is reason for everything. You are a very good man and good things come to good people. If she doesn't see your worth because you are broke now, someone else will. Shake off self-pity. Maria you won't understand. She really made me feel worthless and useless. At some point I began to lose my self-esteem. I have been trying to reach her to no avail. She has blocked me from calling and contacting her. This is exactly what I am talking about. You should not let what happened keep you down. I am sure that God has something better in store for you. Do not let this situation lead to depression. Shake it off. I know it might not be easy letting go of someone you love dearly, but you can't force people to stay in your life. If they don't find you worthy then let them go. God will send someone who will love and cherish you for who you are and you will never remember your bad days again. Come on, cheer up. Let's go to my restaurant so that you can eat something. You have lost so much weight. 
Millie there is no need wasting time or beating around the bush. I want you to marry me. Wow. I was actually waiting for you to ask me. Of course I will marry you. You are such a sweet man. You are my dream man. So you don't even need to ask. I am all yours. Great. So we have to start planning for our wedding. I actually do not need a very elaborate wedding. Because I don't want your ex-husband to come and cause problem on our wedding day. So we are going to have a very private wedding with very few people who are going to come strictly on invitation. Cool. I am perfectly okay with that. You are making sense. I can't wait to be you wife. And immediately after our wedding we will be going for our honeymoon vacation in Paris. How about that? Are you kidding me? Oh wow I can't wait to go on that vacation. So good to see you here after so long. How are you doing? Good to see you too. How have you been? What are you doing here? Oh, I supply food for people here. And you? I thought you and your husband relocated abroad. What are you doing here? Yes, my husband and I relocated abroad and we are based there now. As a matter of fact we just came around to establish a business here. We want to establish a branch of our company here. Oh wow, that's great. But if you both are based abroad how then will you run the branch here? That's the challenge we are facing now because we had someone in mind. My husband's brother was supposed to be in charge of the branch here, but he is not behaving well at all. He is living so lavishly and we do not need to entrust our company to someone like that. So at the moment we are still contemplating who we can entrust the company to. We really need someone very trustworthy, because it is a multi-million dollars company. Oh wow, that's huge. I think I know someone who can do the job perfectly. He is very proficient, hardworking and reliable. I can recommend him with my full chest. Oh really? I trust you to make good decisions. This is our card. Tell him to call the number on the car. We can set up a meeting and work things out. Okay, thank you. He will call you. Have a nice day. You sounded like something urgent came up that's why I rushed down here. What is the matter? I hope all is well. All is very well. In fact I think the Lord has remembered you. Your days of crying, borrowing and lack is over. You are confusing me. Please tell me what is happening. I ran into a friend of mine who lives abroad. She and her husband are in town. They are setting up a multi-millionaire dollar company here and they need someone to manage the place. I recommended you and they want you to come for an interview tomorrow. Oh thank you Jesus. Thank you so much Maria. Thank you for being a great friend and helper. Honey we need to start going to the airport now. Our flight is in two hours we need to hurry up. Meanwhile are you done packing? Sure I am very ready and done packing. I still have some things to pack. But I do not have enough space in my box. I will just put them in your own luggage. We are a couple after all. Sure, you can pack your clothes in my box. I still have enough space. You know it's a very big box. Do you need my help packing them? No dear, I don't want to bother you. I will do it myself. Okay, if you say so. Meanwhile I need to go to some important transactions at the bank. I almost forgot. I will be back soon. But if there is a delay just pick a cab to the airport do not wait for because I will go to the airport once I am done in the bank. What if we miss our flight? We won't miss our flight. If I am running late make sure you board. Do not wait for me. I will find my way. But I promise you we are not going to miss our flight. I have my ways, trust your man. Of course I trust you, but please try to be on time. Sure I will. Phil is taking too long. I should be heading to the airport now. His number is not going through. Maybe he is already at the airport. I have to get going now. Millie was trying to get checked in and some hard drugs were discovered in her luggage. She was arrested and Phil was nowhere to be found. 
I heard that Millie has been arrested for possession of hard drugs. She was apprehended at the airport on her way to Paris for her honeymoon. Yes, that's true, and she has been calling me to come visit her. She wants me to come testify that she doesn't deal drugs. But I am not going. She should face her warrant. That's her problem, not mine. After what she did to me, she expects me to forgive her and testify in her favor. No way. Don't say that. In my opinion I will say that you should go see her and hear her out. Help her if you can. You and I know for a fact that she didn't not do it. It's obvious that her supposed husband was trying to use her but things got bad. I know that she didn't do it. I know that you are angry with her after what she did to you, but to err is human and to forgive divine. Forgive her so that you can be free too. When we offend God he forgives us. We too as humans should learn to forgive. Please just go and see her. You are right. I will forgive her but I do not want to have anything to do with her again. I will go and visit her just once. I will also try to help her the way I can. But that will be all. May I know why you invited me to this fancy and expensive restaurant? Maria you have been my support system all those times I was having a hard time. You stood by me when family and friends abandoned me. You prayed for me. You gave me a shoulder to cry on, you supported me financially. You are a very good woman. You are making me blush now. Take a good look at me now. My life has completely changed for good. And it is all through you. You are just a good scent. A good woman like you is hard to find and when found must be kept and treasured. This new phase of my life will be incomplete without you in it. I want you to come enjoy this wealth I have now. You stood by me when I had nothing, so I want you in my life now that I have everything. If any woman should enjoy my money now, then it has to be you. Maria, please marry me. Let us build an empire together. I know that with you by my side I will do exploit. Jakes you are a good man, and I wouldn't have wished for a better man than you. Yes I will marry you. I am the happiest man in earth today. Thank you for saying yes. Jakes and Maria got married and lived happily ever after. Millie was charged to court and found guilty and was sentenced to jail for a period of time. Phil was nowhere to be found, he abandoned her to pay for the crime and suffer alone. Do you think Millie got the punishment she deserved? And what do you think about Jake's marrying Maria? Please let me know your opinion in the comments section. Thank you for watching, kindly click on the subscribe button below, it's is free. Like, and share our video. And remember to turn of notifications to the channel. God bless you.